Alexa, how much food do I eat? Yeah, you eat a large amount. I I'm not cussing on YouTube, but I eat a lot of food, which brings us to the topic of today's five minute Friday metabolism. I get a lot of people coming to me saying, help, I have a really slow metabolism. How can I improve my metabolism? So First, we should talk about what is metabolism to begin with. We hear this word, but do we really know what it is? So your metabolism is the process of how your body converts what you eat and what you drink into energy, how it burns the food that you are consuming and the drinks that you are, the calories that you are consuming, how it burns it and creates energy with it, which is how we move, all the, how we build, all the different things, right? So if your metabolism is slower, you may have a lower metabolism. You may have a lower metabolism because of genetics. You may have a lower metabolism because of age or hormones or lifestyle. There are so many reasons why our metabolisms could be shot or could be bad. Now, the good news is, I want to say this, it is possible for everybody to improve and increase your metabolism. So if you're watching this and you're like, this is me, like I am somebody, who has a crappy metabolism. Uh, one thing I want you to keep in mind is if you are someone who has deprived yourself of foods for a, an extended period of time, or you've been eating at too much of a calorie deficit, you very well may have a slow metabolism because your body is doing what it's meant to do. Your body is in protection mode. This is why starvation or anorexia, all of those things are so bad for us because your body actually goes into starvation mode and it starts to protect your organs. And as a result of protecting your organs, it says, body, stop burning. Fuel is fast. Let's become efficient. Let's be let's become a machine that makes sure that this body does not die. So your metabolism does slow down to protect your body. Now, if that's happened, you can rev up your metabolism just like you rev up a fire, right? So you are going to pour fuel into the fire to rev up your metabolism. And much of this comes from making sure you're eating enough food. So if you follow any of the plans, um, any of the challenges that I do, any of the programs that I have, if you watch a lot of my videos, I am a huge advocate for eating a lot of food. Why am I an advocate for eating a lot of food? Because I have learned that through a process called reverse dieting, which is the thing that we should talk about in another video, you can actually increase your body's metabolism uh, safely over time to where you can become a metabolic burning machine. I also have a really great course um, a nutrition education course that right now is run inside of our challenges that goes through and explains all of this. So you, by the end of it, I, I wish I could sell it to you right now, but I can't just go join my challenge, go join the challenge because I will teach you all that you need to know about metabolism, all that you need to know about your body so that you can become an efficient and really high function, high uh, metabolic burning machine. Okay. So if you feel like you are struggling, we're going to give five very simple tips today to improving your metabolism. Number one, make sure you're eating enough protein. So we've talked about it before. Protein is the building block of the body. It's a building block of your muscles. It also is super important to your tissues, your cells, your bones, all of the things. And when you're eating protein, number one, it's the most immediately satiating macronutrient. So when you eat it, you are full right away. So you're a lot less likely to eat the other things, but also know that protein consumption. So the foods and the macronutrients that we eat, when we put them in our bodies, something happens for the next little bit. Our metabolism automatically increases uh, for a TEF period of time. It's the thermic effect of food. So the macronutrients that we eat actually have a thermic effect or a TEF, right? Protein, and that essentially means that our body for a period of time is exerting energy or it's burning calories. It's revving up that metabolism to actually consume and break down the food that we're eating. So with protein, protein as opposed to, or in comparison to fats and in comparison to carbohydrates, protein has the highest TEF. So protein has the highest thermic effect of food, which means when we consume protein, we are going to expend or exert or burn more calories digesting that protein than digesting any other macronutrient that we consume. It was long. We're only on tip number one and I think we're almost out of time. Number two, 
Make sure you're drinking enough water. Believe it or not, water consumption is absolutely connected to your metabolism. If you are not drinking enough water, your body will slow down. Water is crucial in optimal function and to drink half your body weight in ounces of water every single day if that's enough. <laughs> If that's too much water for you, I want you to just start by adding an extra eight ounces of water each day to what you're doing. Tip number three, focus on HIIT training, high intensity interval training. Uh, what happens is when your body is doing high intensity interval training, you actually release hormones that have your body burning fat longer than after you're doing the workout. So yes, you're gonna burn calories inside of that short duration period of time, right? But the hormonal release that happens in HIIT training actually has your body burning calories for the remainder of the day. So if you are doing HIIT properly, I always say when I recommend HIIT training, I say on a scale of one to 10, I want you to go to 12 for those 10 seconds, right? So sometimes you'll do like 10 seconds on, 40 seconds off, or 20 seconds on, 40 seconds off. You go all out to get the hormonal release and then you stop for a period of time. So look up HIIT training, watch some of my videos on it. Uh, HIIT training will definitely help increase your metabolism. Tip number four, do more strength training. I've talked about it before and I'm gonna say it again. The more muscle you have, the more fat your body burns at rest. So your body is actually a metabolic burning machine. So many people are scared of being bulky and do not want to do the resistance training needed to build the muscle because they don't want that bulk. But the reality is when you have the bulk in the form of muscle, it will help burn the layer of fat much faster. Tip number five, make sure you're getting enough sleep. Keep in mind that when we do not sleep, the hormonal releases that need to happen to optimize our metabolism and make sure to curb our cravings and give us the fountain of youth from growth hormone cannot happen. So get enough sleep so your body can release the hormones properly, the leptin, ghrelin, growth hormone, all of the things so you can actually have a metabolism that is cranking as fast as you want it to. And if you are worried, if you are somebody who's like, gosh, I don't know, remember, baby steps. I don't want you to try to attack all of these things. Just try to do a little bit better today than you did yesterday. If sleep has been a thing for you, start by sleeping more. If you're only doing cardio and you're not doing resistance training, start by just doing a little bit of resistance training. Just focus on being 1% better today than you were yesterday. That was not five minutes. Thank you for being here with me. If I, you have any questions that you want me to answer, please ask below and I will be back very soon.